Claude Sonnet 3.5 has been released and the results of this have absolutely blown minds around the world, especially online. One of the best features of the release is the new aspect called uh, artifacts. And artifacts is basically allows you to build something live as you're prompting. And here's some key examples of how this looks. So one example of how you can use Cold Sun 3.5 is use it to analyze data, but also visualize it in different ways and also sometimes in very interactive ways. I exported a bunch of my YouTube analytics data and ran it through Cloud Sun 3.5 and I wanted it to visualize it in different ways so I can understand what is the most impactful content that I've uploaded. I gave it the information, typed in a prompt, and what it did was a look through my content and the metrics there, and it created different themes based on the content I was, I was publishing um, and the success of it based on the engagement or the views. From there, I, was, I thought, screw it, let's make a, a bit of a, like a predictive element to this. And I said, hey, let, let's, if I make a video about this X topic based on this theme, uh, based on the data I have so far, what kind of view count am I thinking I should be able to get from that topic based from the data so far? And although this is not like the perfect way to, to look at data, um, I wanted to just test it in a really basic sense. Imagine if you're able, well, you can grab as much data as possible, but all your analytics from a different social media account uh, or anything that you're working on, upload it to Claude and just visualize it immediately. I mean, it literally works in seconds. And it's one of my fa favorite case studies so far. If you like retro video games, Claude Sonnet 3.5 is also great for creating games on from just a prompt. You don't need any coding experience. You can code a game and play it live using the artifacts feature. I wanted to create a game similar to Space Invaders, so I did a very basic prompt for that, and it just started to pour it out to me, and suddenly I have a Space Invaders game in front of me. The first iteration didn't really work very well. The enemies were way too frequent. My my character, my ship was moving way too slowly. And what's really cool is that you can ask Claude to edit certain parts of the code for you, and then you can actually see the results of that live. It's all done within the tool, and it's such a fantastic way to ideate and see the process live in front of you. And this is, again, a great way for me to make some retro video games. So a really cool use case I found as well with Claude Sonnet 3.5 is if you're ever looking at a page, whether it's a social media account or maybe you're looking at a website and you, you like the style, you like, like the design of it and you want to kind of replicate that for yourself, grab a screenshot of that and upload it and ask Claude Sonnet 3.5, hey, can you please create a code to create a very similar functioning site to this? I chose X or Twitter, launched it in there, and before I knew it, it made this interactive social media layout that looks like Twitter 101, like this is probably what it looked like back in the alpha phase where it had the menu and the different functions and you could write posts. Uh, and this can be used, I guess, when it comes to even websites and design as well. If you're understanding how, to, if, if you don't know how to code, this is a fantastic way for this tool to, to basically write that out for you so you can replicate it for yourselves. It's a very fun way and I love this kind of concept that you can use text prompts, you can use images or screenshots and just create things live with the artifacts feature. I always wanted to make an app for a phone, and but I don't really know how to code. And uh, I thought, okay, well, I want to make the car clutter app. And you know, I said that's it'd be funny because I mean, now they've now they've announced that there's a car clutter app coming to iPad. But I, what if I wanted to make that car clutter app, but I don't know how to code? Claude Sonnet 3.5 has my back, and I typed it and say, hey, make the car clutter app for iPad and make it so I can test it and use it. Before I knew it, due to the artifacts feature, a working calculator app has appeared in front of me. And now it just opens up a whole realm of different ideas. If you're trying to ideate how different apps look, um, you can adjust colors, you can adjust size, you can adjust how this everything works just based off your text prompts and you just continuing to prompt Claude. And I just love that you can see the changes in it as you're building it. So making an app and for this, this, this basic case, a calculator uh, was a really fun and just easy way to use this tool. When it comes to job applications, uh, AI has become a big part of the process and I like to use AI when applying for jobs to understand job descriptions compared to my CV or cover letter. So with Claude, you can upload multiple files. I uploaded a CV from a while ago for a job I applied for to a, to a job that I found on LinkedIn that I printed to PDF um, and I just wanted it to compare my skills of what I'd written to that job ad. And the aim for this is to go through a process where I can update different sections of my CV to make sure the keywords align with that of the job ad. What it came up showing me is this like 
interactive keyword comparison here where it looked at the amount of keywords in my in my CV and you know it gave you like an alignment score to make sure that it matches the type of keywords expected in the job description and this told me very quickly that I needed to add a few more keywords in to increase that alignment percentage to help me in the application after that I asked it to rewrite segments of my CV based on that higher alignment score and it's looked at it again and it said your alignment score before was 65% after adding all the new keywords in it increased it to 90% even though this can't really guarantee you that your CV is going to work and get you the job, I just think it's a really cool, innovative way to look and use AI tools to help make sure our applications are as relevant as possible, especially with the scale of how many applications people put out now, using these kind of tools can really help you in the process and make you more relevant for the position. So there, there's a bunch of examples of how Cloud Sonnet 3.5 is just changing everything and I'm loving the artifacts feature and I can't wait to test more. Uh, if I find any more useful use cases, I will definitely show it to you. Thanks for watching.